Hey boys and girls, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel. I'm your host Antoine, let's get some shit done Richardson because today we're gonna be talking about working from home and the best Bluetooth speakers to do it with. Now look, I'm no work from home expert, but I do work from home personally and so does my wife and we gotta keep getting our jam on, right? So we use Bluetooth speakers because um, you know, not everybody wants to have a dedicated speaker set up in their office. I personally do not have one, she doesn't have one. I like a speaker I can just kind of move and groove with, and I do have Bluetooth speakers, so that's what we use. But we need to talk about some key essentials to working with uh, working from home. First of all, you do kind of need a laptop, right? And your screen and stuff in a comfortable chair, and of course, a desk to put all this stuff on. But next, the most important thing is gonna be coffee on tap. You got to have the coffee, bro. So you got that, chip. Next is a big ass, spoiled whiny dog who always needs attention. This is Raylan right here. This is my, this is, some people call him my co-host. Some people call him just Raylan the giant big baby puppy. He don't even want, <laughs> he's, he's being all camera shot. Raylan, why you being camera shot, man? Open, open. You don't want, you don't want to be on the camera. <laughs> so he's just being my big baby right here. What his job is, is to distract me from all the stuff I'm actually trying to get done. Trust me, you need a giant dog to come up to you while you're typing on your keyboard and nuzzle his way up under your wrist so you can actually pet him like on demand and then rub his belly for a bit. And then, you know, just do other things throughout the time where you're trying to get your work done. But the next most important thing you need while you're getting your work done from home is a Bluetooth speaker. And that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. These are coming in at no particular order. This is not a top five, top 10 video. This is not a best of the best video. No, no audio samples or nothing like that. This is just speakers that I like and I think that are going to be good for working from home and doing some other stuff uh, regarding life with. So first up, we got the JBL Charge 5. This is one of my faves right here. The JBL Charge 5. It's really hard to beat this speaker. It is on the pricier side of the things we're gonna be talking about today because at retail price, I think it's about $179. You can catch this thing on sale for about $129 if you're looking real closely at the sales. But yeah, man, you're gonna have to drop some cheddar to get this speaker. But what I like about it is its full range capability. Uh, it has a nice, well-rounded sound. You can get some nice deep lows in there. You get your mid bass and of course your treble and your mid tones. And it's all gonna be balanced real well. It has an app and an EQ built into the app. It's only a three band, but you can get some really good quality sound out of this thing. I also like it because of the footprint. It's really not all that big. It comes in this canister style, almost like a little football, right? Like a little Nerf ball. So it's super palmable. You can put it in a bag, but not like in your cup holder uh, of your car or like maybe you, I don't even think you can put this in the pocket, the water bottle pocket of your um, of your backpack, but it is still a very portable speaker. It doesn't have a handle or anything because it's still palmable, but you can pack this thing away and just take it with you. If you're going out to play with your dog or you know doing some stuff, you can just grab the speaker off your desk and go have your field day. It does have a great battery life, in my opinion, uh, coming in at about 20 hours if you play this at a reasonable volume. And when I say reasonable, I'm really talking about 30% maybe. Anything higher than that, you're just gonna start crunching away at that 20 hours. And this is actually one of the higher, uh, or the higher uh, battery lives we're gonna have here on this particular video. But since we're talking about JBL, let's go ahead and talk about this little champ right here. Now, this is a good speaker for a lot of things, including putting on your bike. Like if you've got one of those bottle holders on your bike, this will slide right into that joint. It'll slide in the cup holder or the bottle holder on your backpack. Uh, in your car, this is the perfect size for that. It's, it might even not take up as much space as the whole cup holder. So this is a nice, super portable speaker right here. And JBL tells that because it actually has a lanyard. So you can just strap this thing up on your wrist and just grab and go. Now this is the speaker you walk your dog with. If you're gonna be walking your dog and you want a little bit of jams, go ahead and try a Flip 6. Now this one comes in at I think about 15 hours of battery life. You know what, I'm gonna stop talking about battery life on these speakers because I don't actually have them all memorized. So I'll go ahead and just put them somewhere like, I don't know, right there. And that's where you'll see the battery life. But I do love it because just like the Charge 5, it can do a lot of things. It's not a one trick pony. Yes, you're gonna get some nice rich bass. Now consider the size of these things, okay? They're only so big, so they're only gonna give you so much thundersome bass, but you're gonna get it here with that same app and same three band EQ. You can EQ your mids and highs. And you can also, if you are in the, uh, 
JBL ecosystem, you can actually link these up. They won't play in stereo, but they can be in party cast. Raylan, you are starting to get on my nerves, homie. Hold up, let, let me see, this is what I be talking about. If you got, see, working from home, I got this whiny dog here. He wants to go out and play, even though he just had a walk. You just had a walk, man. What you, look, are you gonna stay here and be quiet? Or are you gonna let me work? Or are you gonna get out of here? What's it gonna be? You gonna make a decision? So if you're working from home and you got a big dog, this is the time you take a break and go Kung Fu fight with your dog. Now back to the Flip 6. Super portable, super versatile, super great sound. You can play it just like this, laying down on its uh, on its side just like that, or you can just stand it up if you don't have the desk real estate to get your jam on. But nonetheless, this is definitely in my like choice selections of uh, uh, work from home speakers because it's a grab and go speaker. As soon as you get done with work or need to take a break, just grab this bad boy, take it with you. But now let's get into something a little bit bigger and a little bit pricier within the Sony SRS XG300. This is one of my favorite speakers. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I absolutely just love it. I can't say enough good things about it. First of all, Let's talk about aesthetics. Is this not just one of the prettiest, most subtle speakers you've ever seen? It just, you put it down and it just kind of disappears into the room, provided your decor goes with it, right? So not only does it look good in your space, it also sounds fantastic. Now the thing uh, when it comes to JBL versus Sony, JBL has a more in your face sound, you know what I'm saying? And I love it, it has its place. But the reason I like these Sony speakers, which is the SG300 or XG300 is because it has a warm sound. It makes comfortable it's soothing to the ears and you can listen to them over a long period of time and not get any hearing fatigue which i have experienced with some of the other speakers i.e j uh, jbl so let's get into this home warming champ right here it's got a very subdued and subtle design and that's my favorite aspect of it uh, and then sound will come next because i really do absolutely love the sound so you got your your uh, control panel right here with your power bluetooth button mega bass button then you got your play and pause your volume down and volume up and you see right there can you see that right there bro that is a little uh little phone right there a little phone icon and that's because it has a very key feature to working from home if you're going to be working from home okay it's a good chance you're going to catch a phone call or need to be on a meeting or something and you don't want to hold your phone up to your hand or head you're going to need a speakerphone and the Sony speakers actually come with a built-in speakerphone. They're not the only ones to do it, but they are really good at it. The speakers actually sound pretty, or the microphone actually sounds pretty good in this thing. And that's one of the things I like about it. This thing does create some really fantastic sound. Like I said, it does have a naturally warm sound signature, so you won't get that listening fatigue. Uh, some people might crave a little bit more bass. For me, it is perfectly fine. But another one of the reasons why I really like this speaker is because it's not just made for working from home, it's also made to be super versatile because of of this handle you can just flip it up just like that grab it and go we've taken this thing to the beach uh, 2023 was our year at the beach we spent like half the like most of the summer at the beach we was going like every weekend and this was our speaker of choice right along with the sony xg500 this one was just more portable because it's a smaller size and it has a nice battery life once again boom <laughs> and uh yeah man just the grab and go element of it and it is waterproof and it's got the the dust resistance and stuff and it's just a you know a speaker that you can just do life with so it's not a one-trick pony in fact most of these speakers i'm going to talk about today are not one-trick ponies i think really only one is so yeah man this is a good one in the selection of work from home speakers but now let's drop it back down to something a little bit smaller and a little bit more friendly to your wallet which is going to be the soundcore motion 300 i freaking love this one this is actually right up there in my opinion with the charge 5 man one of my favorites if not favorites of all time this thing is ultra versatile. Yes, it is a perfect work from home speaker. It has everything you would want from a work from home speaker. First of all, it has a lay flat design. So you can just lay that bad boy flat just like that and just kind of put it off to the side or you can stand it up just like this and the EQ will adjust itself and start playing music firing forward or you can hang it from something and then it'll adjust the EQ like self adjust the EQ and it will sound good just hanging from something but you know i'm the guy who loves clutch features right this one has a built-in speaker phone and i could be mistaken on this but this is one of the best i've ever heard this one is it's it's top tier like top three maybe even top two maybe top i don't know 
fantastic speakerphone. But look at the size, man. Look how big it is. It does have some weight. The weight feels like quality to me. Soundcore has definitely leveled up on their build quality, and this is a prime example of it. In regards to sound, you know it's Soundcore, man. So they got that app with the built-in EQ, got a whole bunch of bands you can tweak your sound with. But either way, this thing is going to sound fantastic coming right out of the box. Now, if you want to, you can get another one, man, and you can stereo pair these bad boys. You can't have a whole bunch of them around the room, but you can have two connected to each other and get stereo high res sound, which is super clutch again, because this is very affordable. So you can afford to. In fact, you can get two of these for the price of one of these. So yeah, you be the judge of that. But either way, this is definitely in my top pick or top picks for work from home speaker because versatility and utility, and of course, sound. You can take this thing literally anywhere. It's actually, well, this is not a bottle or, or cup holder, you know, kind of speaker. It could fit in a bag, like on the side with the water bottle pocket, maybe, if it, the pocket will stretch out wide enough, but it does have this little loop. And all you gotta do is unbutton that, hook it on what you need to hook it on, and boom, you can just grab it and go get your jam on. But we gotta move on, man, and this is what we're gonna be talking about next, the Sony SRS XB100. The reason why I have two here for you is because one is mine and one belongs to my wife. These are the speakers we actually use at our work from home offices. Why are we using these little tiny speakers? Well, it's because they're freaking awesome, that's why, man. Look at it, it's super tiny, doesn't take up a lot of space, but it sounds fantastic. This thing freaking booms. In fact, it hits so hard, it actually destroys its predecessor, which is the XB13, I think it is. The, the old one that looks like this, but doesn't look like this, I guess. And it actually kicked the crap out of the JBL Clip or Clip 4 and Go 3. It kicked the crap out of those speakers. This thing is awesome, man. We love them. And when I say grab and go, this is absolutely the most versatile strap they've ever put on a speaker, man. Of course, it comes in here just like this, right? But it's got this hook, okay? You got this hook, man. And then you can just kind of hook this thing on anything, a bike handlebar. And man, this is the, literally the only one that just like of this size that fits on a bike handlebar because it opens up like this, a wrist lanyard. You can put this on a purse, a backpack, anywhere you want to put this joint, or you can just take it off if you want to. But you see this right here? Again, we're talking about speaker phones, man. This is important. This is a great speaker phone too. In fact, uh, we talk to my son and my family all the time using these speakers because, you know, like we'll be on speakerphone on the phone and I'll get tired of holding the phone like this, right? So then we just put the phone down and we'll just talk to my Aunt Tammy and she just keeps cracking us up with her little jokes about stuff. Man, Tammy is crazy. Shout out to my, my Aunt Tammy, man. <laughs> but yeah, man, this speakerphone on this thing is so clutch. That's why this one's definitely in my top of selection, man. I got to promote this one as probably... It, it's one of the best. Let's just say it's one of the best. It's not as big as an XG300 or, you know, a JBL Extreme or not a Extreme, but a Charge 5 and you won't get this level of sound, but you get high quality sound and it can do a lot of things. You can actually just walk around with this thing. In fact, we have. All right, man, he's back. He, I guess he wants to say hi to you guys. Can you see him right there? Ray, you see, they're looking at you right there, bro. <laughs> oh, man, you... Just oversized big baby. He's three now. I can't believe you've been in my life three years causing all this shenanigans and mayhem. Now, can I get on with my life now? I got work to do. Here, open. Open. You don't want to get on the couch? Open. He just He's just on his own program. I th he just wants to go out. Anyways, we got to move on to the last speaker, which is something new, man. It's been like on my shelf for like uh, probably about six weeks, man. I didn't even know I had like... <laughs> I can't do this, man. <laughs> I can't do this. Here, have a treat, man. Here, you want a carrot? There you go. All right, here. there you go. Look, there's another carrot. Now get out of here, man. Go on somewhere. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Let's move on, man. This is the Treb Lab HD360. I just did a video on this joint. This thing absolutely obliterates the JBL Charge 5, the Flip 6, and it gives the JBL Extreme 3 a hardcore run for the money. This is a 360 speaker, man. So you're getting 360 degrees worth of sound out of here. It's got five drivers, five passive radiators around here. And this is actually my new speaker uh, for this office. This is not my home, this is my studio. So this is the speaker. This actually replaced uh, my my current or my, my, my other uh, 
studio speaker, which was the Sony SRS XB45. Yeah, it's XB45. This one replaced it because I like that 360 sound. And this thing freaking thumps hard. It's the good size, but it's kind of a one trick pony. You can't be taking this thing outside. Well, you can take it on the patio or something like that. And it's gonna sound really good. It's gonna sound great to everybody around it, no matter what position they're standing in. But it doesn't have a high, it doesn't have a high IP rating, so I wouldn't be taking it to the beach or you know, stuff like that. And it doesn't really have a grab and go you know, like structure, you know, it's not made for that. You just set it down and you press play and you start the party. 360 degrees worth of sound. And it doesn't have an app or anything like that. So I consider this speaker uh, pretty much a one trick pony. It is made for one thing and that's exceptional sound, but it does make one of the best work from home speakers I can offer you today, man. Look, if you don't want bookshelf speakers, dedicated, plugged in stuff, hi-fi fidelity, you know, stuff on your walls and stuff, don't worry about it. I got you covered, man. We got my selection of some of the best work from home speakers here. And remember, you need three elements, like three key elements outside of your monitor and your desk and all that stuff. You need that coffee, okay? Get yourself some coffee so you can stay alert and you need a, a dog that's gonna distract you and, and have you doing all kinds of shenanigans while you're trying to get work done. And of course, you need yourself a nice Bluetooth speaker, preferably one with a speakerphone. That way you got that extra feature. And sometimes some of us might want a speaker with some more functionality so it's not a one trick pony. So we can just grab and go take it to wherever we're going after work and just get our jam on. Either way, I am not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is it's time for me to go Kung Fu fight with my dog again. So y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.